Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore along with the Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Muhammad Ali's entourage has that look on their face. They know they've put the work in, and you can see how confident they are for the battle that lies ahead. He's assured that tonight is his night. That is as confident of a ring walk as you will ever see. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. 15 rounds scheduled here in this much-anticipated fight, and we are underway with round number one. Muhammad Ali's hurt by that. Please, please. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. We are underway here, and we've heard from everybody that speed is going to be the big factor. Muhammad Ali's got it. Plenty of it. Yeah, now it's up to his opponent to come up with something. Maybe go to the body, take it away, slow him down. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Muhammad Ali is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Plus <laughs> shot, the left hand came in. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Good way to protect the midsection. Hits him in the mug with the right. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. A little head hunting with the right. Locks away that head shot. Tough to have a discussion about Muhammad Ali without bringing up the name of Smokin' Joe Frazier. Their trilogy, perhaps the most documented in the history of the sport. Well, Fred Astaire, maybe the greatest dancer of all time, had to have Ginger Rogers. And you do need somebody to match up with. And he found that person. He found that person in every way was the perfect, perfect guy to make great fights with. You know, personality-wise, the opposite of each other. And style-wise, in that ring, the opposite. One guy coming forward, another guy on the outside looking to take advantage of that forward motion. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because 
of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, okay, slipping okay, a little breath, bit, deep making deep himself breath. a difficult target, Relax. but Relax. his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten them up. Hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Turns over that hook upstairs. Good block by Ali. Piercing jab. Muhammad Ali's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Halfway through this round here. Good block. Hey, you gotta get some of that too. Now, come on, let's go. What an impact that left hand just made by Muhammad Ali. to dismiss that body shot. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Teddy, what advice do you give in a situation like this when you have a fighter who's clearly been hurt, who's just looking to hold on and buy himself some time? Well, it's more than just advice. You know, I, I admonish him a little bit. I tell him, hey, listen, I don't want no excuses that he's tying you up. It takes two to tangle. You don't have to get tied up if you don't let him. Don't let him. Take a little step back and create room and let those hands go. Final 10 seconds. Looks to the head. How about a return to sender with the left hand? This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. And round number three is underway. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Get up on him. Nice. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Parries that punch intended for the head. He just missed that shot up top. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. Nice. 
You know, boxing is a global sport. I think sometimes in North America, we lose touch of that. But boxing is such a global sport. And every little region of the country defines its fighters differently. And the fighters are defined by where they come from. Yeah, it really is. You know, sometimes if a fighter is from maybe a place where there's not many resources, then you're going to get a fighter who's a little cruder. And he's going to have to be more physical because, you know, he doesn't have the apparatuses in the gym where, you know, he can hit a double end ball or, you know, he can be inclined to be a little bit more technical. And I think that you're influenced by those kind of things, by the lackings of certain benefits in somebody's background or preparation. Teddy, is it raw skill? Is it technique? What's the answer for him? Why is he missing so many punches and tiring himself out here? It's forgetting about the idea. The idea that it's not enough just to throw a punch. You have to have a plan to land it. You know, you have to have a missile to get it to the target. Otherwise, what does it do? Just blows up, makes a hole in the ground, and when it rains, guess what? You go swimming. He's going to go swimming later. Able to cover up that gut. Come on, punch. Come on. Able to show you his blocking ability. Boy, good shot. Good. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Not able to land the uppercut. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Muhammad Ali's crush, and bang, and away he goes. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. and you're not losing, you understand me, kid? But we have we to throw it. more than this guy. We can pull it. Right. Let's take a look at Teddy's scorecard, where you can see that he's only got that one round in the bank so far at the beginning of round number four. But Teddy, just the psychology of the game, knowing that you've put your man down on the canvas, you really don't care about the scorecard at that point. Well, you know you're the boss, and you can continue to be the boss. And more importantly, your opponent now, he's a little concerned about throwing something. He might get caught, he might get hurt again. Then the counterpunch by Muhammad Ali. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Muhammad Ali is trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expect him to clinch. Ali still has to be careful here, Teddy, but it does appear that he's not on wobbly legs any longer. No, it does. And it also appears that he has a more serious attitude. He's not clowning like he was earlier. Halfway through round number four. Well off the mark by Muhammad Ali. Good return fire that time.
Solid jab by Muhammad Ali. He missed with that headshot. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Clean shot with the right. Ali showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. End of the round is upon us. And we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you search into those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies Stay where you never knew there was dirt. Okay. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. That's it. That's it. Oh. Ali blocks it. Look at Muhammad Ali and his ability to avoid punches here. He's got it every which way. He's slick, he's smooth, he blocks and parries. Good defense. Really good job by Ali. More punches. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Ali's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. How about that left right there? Did you see that? How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Goes down for the first time tonight, but you can see he's ready to make up for it here. Yeah, just a little bit of water in the basement, not a full flood. But if he doesn't want those pipes to burst, he better figure out quick why he got dropped. Good looking oh, counter punch. You could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. My kid, focus. Just like that, just like that. Uppercut, keep doing what he's doing. And clicks of the talk. Whoa. 
So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You can trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. He's trying to get momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pits. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you're coming out. You know, don't cross those lanes too quick and then get back into the flow. Back to the body. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. <laughs> and he ties up on the inside. Come on, come on. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> uppercut, uppercut, it's wide open. Uppercut, baby, come on. Well, earlier you saw what happened to him. He was stunned. He got tagged in this fight. He got hit hard. Now you're seeing the kind of mentality that's going to try to avoid that happening again. But, Teddy, it's not necessarily the kind of mentality that's going to win you a fight. No, if you're in the corner with him, you know what you tell him, Joe? You tell him, look, you're being tested now. I understand you've been hurt. I understand you're looking to survive right now. But you're being tested for the first time in your life. Do you want to be a champion? Do you want to be special? Special people find a way to get out of this and still are Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Pumping and throw the lead right here, right? And you are winning this fight. So he's tight. He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head and knock him out. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. A 
Ali's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Go! Go! Lands the counter. Halfway through the seventh round. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. There you go. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Ali's really impressing us here, defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. You got this he one. tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. And he engages in the clinch. Beat him to the punch. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. We're winning this fight. You just can't move around. You gotta move with your hands in there. Let them things go. Now listen, I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab, parry it away and you'll catch him, okay? You got that? Ali's enjoying a big lead on Teddy's scorecard here as we start round number eight. He has dominated this fight, Teddy. What advice would you be giving him if you were in charge of that corner? Well, I would tell him, look, I don't want to go into a prefect defense because we see the football teams, they do that. The other team suddenly marches down the field when they couldn't go down the field. But keep your defense good. Make sure you stay alert. Don't make any mistakes. You know, keep the offense going because that's what's keeping them in control. That's what's keeping them from coming down the field, so to speak. But stay alert. Make no mistakes. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, I like a guy that throws punches down. That's a big right hand. Wake up! And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. <laughs> and now you're seeing the beard that this guy possesses because he went from stunned and damaged to staying right upright. Oh, this is like Santa Claus's beard. I'm telling you right now. The halfway point of round number eight. Not focusing. You're not focusing. Oh, you're doing great. Let's go! Come on, punch, punch, punch. That's it. Everybody. Not able to land the headshot. Still not moving enough. Come on now, move. Move, Rainbow. Attaboy. 
Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And this round comes to an end. Ali's in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water. You're good. All right? You're okay, right? We start a new round here. It's hard to believe that we're even in this round based on how that last round finished. Well, if you ever watched some of those Houdini movies, you know, the great escape artist, kind of hard to believe he got out of some of those fixes he was in. You know, inside that box with chains around him underwater. He's going to have to do a Houdini right here. Ali's throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Relax. Come on. 90 now, relax. seconds into the ninth round. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. That was nice, he just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Muhammad Ali. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Nothing's changing course here. His corner knows it, he knows it, and his opponent knows it. Round after round, it's much the same. He's in control. Yeah, he has a great rhythm. I mean, everything's going right. He's like a great singer up there on the stage hitting all the right notes. Just sailing along. Relax. 
Relax. Relax. My man, we need a knockout. You don't knock him out, we go home with nothing. You understand? Breathe in. Breathe in. That's it. Last chance now. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Watch that! Stay away from those. Come on, man. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on, man. Very nice defensive guard there. charging with that right hand. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Huh. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. Ali's Watch clearly committed Watch to the, the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires, and he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time it. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. You're not focusing. You're not focusing. You got this one. Come on, punch, punch, punch. That's it. Just missed that shot up top. Coming to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. And that's the end of round 10. I need to use your feet. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, now let's go. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, now let's go. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. We got it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Nice work. You can't uh, handle your speed oh, too much. Nice keep it up. You don't need that. No, throw that away. 11th round upon us. Teddy, it has maintained itself. That big cushion that he jumped out to early on on your scorecard. Here we are, only a few rounds to go, and nothing seems to be altering course. No, if you're the opponent right now, you're in the casino, it's five minutes to four in the morning. They close at four. It's not an all-night casino. And they just told you, all right, this is it. Last round. You got it. You've been losing a lot of money, by the way. You got to spin those dice. You got to roll those dice. You got to take chances. You got to double up on your bets. Are you sure you're not talking about our crew? Yeah, exactly.
See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Halfway through this 11th round. <laughs> Ali's doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. Keep doing what you're doing. right back at him with a left hand. <laughs> he missed with that headshot. Uppercut, uppercut, it's wide open. Uppercut, baby, come on. A well-targeted hook landed by Muhammad Ali. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Good job. Hard to see a way in which this fight changes. I mean, he's been outworked. That round just proved it again. He's been outworked consistently all night long. Well, look, you want to stay with the fundamentals. You don't want to get away from that. You want to use a jab. You want to bring your feet. You know, you want to get into certain ranges. But at this point, you have to find a way to land a big punch. You have to emphasize that to your fighter. It is desperation time. You have to go after You have to be first in there, okay? You have to start loading up on those punches. Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. Your head. Supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. One, two, one, two. Keep moving, keep moving. Able to dismiss it. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap there. Let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Ali's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Yeah, I like what I see. I love what I see, baby.
Muhammad Ali with a huge right hand. <laughs> final 10 seconds in this, the 12th and final round. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. So another round comes to an end that, Teddy, when you put pen to paper, you're putting down the very same way. He's up by a lot here. Yeah, he is up by a lot. And the good news for him is he's up by a lot in his kind of fight. You know, it's going to pay the kind of pace he wants and in the dimensions that he wants. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring right. points. Just oh, yeah. keep no, throwing no, punches. You don't need that. No. Throw that away. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on, man. Not much action as he just ties up. Beat him to the punch. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for to cover up along the belt line blocks that one <sighs> halfway through this round thought he had his target but way off to the side with the uppercut good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault Like You're not focusing. You're not focusing. His eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining in this round. Yet another round you can say he easily won. He's been in complete control. You love to have these rounds as a fighter, and also you love to have these nights as a trainer, but sometimes you like just little moments early on that keep him reminded that there's still danger. He's almost forgotten that there's danger, and that could be the only risk here for him that he gets careless. Now listen to me. Your best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. That Action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. 
Muhammad Ali is able to avoid that punch. See, he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Just hugging there. Ali's proving to be elusive. movement to get away from those punches. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. A good block. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. Misses his opponent's headshot. Keep working about it. <laughs> if there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Muhammad Ali. <laughs> So that round comes to an end. Yet another yeah, round where he came up short, just didn't have it. Desperation time's got to be approaching. Yeah, it's kind of like our crew members. You know, when we see him at the bar in his happy hour, and you know, you double up on the drinks. Well, guess what, Joe? It's time to double up. You need two or three right now. You got to really go after him. Last round, OK? This is it, last round. Finish this partly, OK? Taking it to the limit, they are the 15th and final round. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Watch the hook. <laughs> Muhammad Ali uppercut. blocks that Why? punch. Upper, uppercut, baby, come on. Scored well with the hook after blocking that shot. Ali's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Halfway point of this last round. 
And he's holding. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Just a minute to go in this bout. Keep working the jab. Good, good. His opponent got away from that uppercut. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Last 10 seconds of the fight. Work the body. Work the body, kid. That's the body. Completely one-sided fight. At least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know, this could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. Ali's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for. And it's exactly what the judges reward. Good, solid effort, a unanimous decision. Yeah, if he was a pitcher, he'd be getting a shutout right now. Almost a perfect game. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.